good morning student uh, today i will explain a uh, rectifier circuit uh, now i will take a uh, half wave rectifier okay um, dear student can you tell me what is the meaning of uh, rectification process anyone hi ac into dc yes conversion of ac uh, alternate current into dc that is known as uh, rectification process and Uh, here we are using a diode as rectifier. Okay, now see. First, uh, I will like the meaning of rectification. Rectifier. Okay. Central tap, rectifier, and switch. Okay. See half wave rectifier. Half wave rectifier. in case of half wave rectifier uh, this type of uh, rectifier uses only one diode for rectification process and see it consists of one transformer uh, which type of transformer step down transformer see the circuit i will draw a circuit diagram for uh, half wave rectifier see input voltage step down the corner c this is primary and this is second okay and then uh, second is connected to Diode. One terminal of second is connected to diode. And then negative of diode and the terminal of second is connected to the third uh, external resistance, also known as load. RL means load resistance, okay. and here we will take output of this circuit with this here. Uh, this is input. And this is good. okay. Yeah. See, uh, from this circuit, uh, so what are the requirements of circuit input source? V, a step down transformer, diode, and load. Okay. Now see, this is the input source. This is the input, and here you will get output like this. Okay. Now, okay.
here I will write a requirement. Transformer. Which type of transformer they are showing? Step down. Transformer. Then dial. And register board. Or register. No, uh, external register. And capture of the to observe input as well as output. Now see, again I explain, then I will draw input and output for this circuit, see, here I will draw input and output for circuit. See how to draw how to draw waveforms, input waveforms, and output waveforms. This is V in zero. Plus, minus, plus, positive wave, positive half wave, negative half wave. Okay. Now see. Then we show the output. Okay. Uh, dear students, see, uh, during the, now first I will explain theoretical part. See, during the, I will use the laser pointer. Can you view diagram? Hello, students. Yes, sir. Okay. No, okay. Uh, this is input source, AC input source, which is connected to the primary of step down transformer and the secondary, one terminal of secondary to the diode and other one to the resistor RA, okay? And using CRO, you can observe, we can observe output of wave as well as you can observe input of circuit, input of the circuit. Now see the waveform, and this is input to the, the uh, diode, okay? Now see, uh, during positive half cycle, then positive half cycle is given to uh, is given to the diode. Then positive cycle is given to the diode. Okay, and during positive half cycle, in this case, positive is connected to the anode. Means which by there are two types of bias: forward bias and reverse bias. And when you are connecting positive to the to the anode of diode, therefore this diode will be yes, dear student, this diode will be in which bias? Hello, forward bias. When positive signal is given to the diode, anode of diode, therefore this uh, diode will be in forward bias and then current flow to the circuit like this, and we will get output like this. 
100 years old in this case diode is forward bias okay hello students understood this concept see when input when positive half input dear students when positive half input is given to the given to this diode therefore this diode is in forward bias and therefore current will flow to this circuit therefore i will show current in current flow flow current to this circuit understood dear sir see therefore current will flow to this circuit but during negative cycle see dear sir during negative cycle means what which cycle this this cycle during this negative cycle when negative is connected to the dear student when negative is connected to the anode therefore this diode will be reverse bias understood and therefore there will be no current flow to this due to this negative half cycle again see when negative this when negative half cycle is at anode of this diode therefore this and no or this diode will be in reverse bias which bias reverse bias and therefore there will be no flow of current and here you will get the again when when this positive half cycle you okay, see when this positive half cycle is uh, is at the at this diode and out of this diode again this diode is in which bias forward bias and again you will get the current through the circuit and again you will get positive current again again negative and should you want input and output wise means in case of half wave filter fire you will get the at output you will get half of the input and should you ask for say again what does the requirement These are the requirement for half wave rectifier. That is, see left hand side screen. These are the requirement input source, input AC, step down transformer, the diode, and resistive load and capacitor. Now here, first a high AC voltage is applied to the primary side of the high voltage means input is applied to the primary side of the. step down transformer and we will get a low voltage at the secondary winding and here this low voltage secondary winding is given to me is applied to the to this diode and during the positive half cycle of the input this diode will be in forward bias condition and current flow through this circuit thus you will get a only half of the you will get the current at the output but during the negative half cycle or at the input diode this diode will be reverse bias therefore so there is no current zero current to the circuit to this state line okay this state line is due to the negative half cycle at the input again when positive when positive half cycle at the input of this diode again you will take current to the circuit and the You will get half of the half of the input at the output. Okay, means you will get voltage or current only due to during the positive half cycle of the AC voltage, not during the negative half cycle of the AC voltage. Understood, dear students? Means during a uh, during a uh, negative half cycle of the AC voltage, the diode will be in reverse bias and the flow of current will be blocked. and the the final output voltage final output voltage on the secondary side is shown in this diagram okay this is your circuit diagram and these are the waveform input waveform and this is output waveform understood dear student of this level hello anyone say can yes yes sir okay and uh, This is about the half wave rectifier. Okay. In half wave rectifier, what are the requirements? Requirements are 
input to input AC voltage, a ground transformer, diode, and resistive circuit, resistive load, and CR voltage. And using CRO, we can observe input as well as output voltage. Okay. Hello, student. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, this is sinusoidal wave input wave, and you will get only half of this, only half of this uh, input at the output. Okay. Now, can you tell me? Uh, then I will uh, explain how some part mathematical part for this related to how it is. Okay. What is the derivative of sine theta? Anyone? Cos theta. Yes, very good. Derivative of sine theta is cos theta, and derivative of cos theta is equal to minus S sine. Minus. Okay. Now see, then you see here at the here in this case, this input wave we start from zero. Therefore, this is the angle of about here. This is ten to five. 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 Now, uh, what is the sign of uh, sign of pi by two? Anyone? What is the sign of pi by two? One. One. Okay. Now, for explanation of half wave rectifier, dear student, first draw this diagram. Then draw waveform and then write theoretical part. I will do. Okay. Now I will show some uh, mathematical part related to half wave rectifier. Now see. Now average or mean value for this rectifier is given by average or mean. Value. Area under the curve area under the curve upon upon length of phase. This is the formula, but you can directly write. P average, P average equal to one upon two pi, one upon two pi, integration of P P. Okay, from zero to pi. Why zero to pi? Anyone? Because we have to learn see this waveform. See this waveform. I will learn. In this waveform, see. What is the starting point? See the output. What is the starting point of output? Zero. Zero. Okay. Starting point of output is zero, and here angle is here. You are uh, here. We will get only half of. This. Okay. Means what is the angle here? Maximum angle pi. Okay. Therefore, you should take limit from zero to pi. Zero to two. Understood, dear friend. Because of half cycle, we can write initial point is zero and maximum is about five. Okay. Now, what is the V P? V P is this. This is your V P. This point. This point is V P. I will use V P. This is VP. Okay. Now see, VP is constant. Therefore, I'll take outside of this uh, integration sign. Therefore, I will rewrite this equation as
decreasing from one to five. Okay. Now, what is the integration of here? What is the integration of sine theta? This is yes, dear student. Hello, students. Minus cos. Minus cos. Okay. Suppose here initial point is A and B. Then I have a left A B A into B. Okay. Now see. Dt upon 2 pi into minus cos from 0 to, and dear students, this is your dt upon 2 pi. I will write here minus in bracket cos theta. Can I write like this? Hello, students. See carefully. Can I write like this? I am taking minus sign out of this bracket. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Now see. I will. I will use this color. Now. Minus dt upon two pi. In bracket, first I will put upper limit. That is cos of pi minus cos of. Okay. That is minus dt. Upon two pi into yes, yes, one. What is the cos of pi? Anyone? What is the cos of pi? Hello, student. Yes, student. What is the cos of pi? Anyone? Minus one. Minus one. Very good. Minus. Now the result and cos zero is done. Is it correct, dear students? Therefore, this is your minus dt upon two pi into bracket minus one and minus one is minus two. And there's a final answer is dt upon because it is a tensor. Understood, dear students? And this is the formula to find out v average. For a V average for half wave rating. Okay, then you can um, uh, you can take uh, pi equal to 3.14 and you can find 1 by pi, that is 1 by 3.14, and you can write multiple with dt. Okay, and this is the formula for for V average or mathematical part related to related to half wave. Now I will do that V average. Understood, dear student? Yes. And VRMS, that is root mean square voltage, is equal to VP upon. Understood, dear student? And this is about the mathematical analysis or part of half wave arithmetic. Understood, dear student? Hello. Hello, students. Yes, sir. Yes. Can I proceed for next point? See again. This is about. See, then just I will take summary of this uh, half wave rectifier. See, dear students, half wave rectifier can see only one diode, step down transformer, and output is at across load resistance okay say again during positive half cycle during positive half cycle diode will be in forward bias and will be current at the output but neg uh, during negative half cycle this diode will be in reverse bias and there will be no current flowing through the circuit CPC. then again during positive cycle again a diode this diode will be in Will be in forward bias and will get the current and output. Thus, uh, only you have will get during the only during positive half cycle, we will current, we will get current or output of this half wave rectifier, and there is no current in case of uh, negative half cycle. Okay, and this is the mathematical part that is the average or mean value 
area under the curve or about length of base or directly uh, you write v average equal to 1 upon 2 pi integration of vp sin theta d theta from 0 to pi because see the angle from 0 to pi or output and therefore uh, integration of sin theta is cos theta and we will use uh, definite integration formula minus cos theta from 0 to pi then I will take minus common for outside of this bracket and cos of pi minus cos 0 cos pi equal to minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 to 2 get cancelled minus minus becomes plus and thus vp upon pi and v is equal to vp upon pi and v rms is always vp upon 2 and what is the vp vp is p equal to c vp is p equal to Okay. Yes. Uh, now I, I will explain full wave of thing. Yes. Can I proceed for next point? Yes, sir. Full wave rate. In case of full wave rate paper, see the diagram. I will write here. Full wave rate. And we is this yes. today I will explain about bridge rate. Okay. Uh, bridge uh, bridge rectifier is a circuit. It's a circuit. Yes, so is a circuit which converts which converts and AC voltage to yes to what DC voltage. both up cycle of the input is okay see bridge rectifier circuit generally consists of four diodes and then I will write requirement. Circuit has consists of as four connected to form and two. Then I will draw circuit diagram for bridge. See, uh, there are two types. We will learn about two types of full wave rectifier, center tap and bridge. Now I will uh, first explain bridge, which it consists of four diodes. See, then I will draw circuit diagram. Here I will write the requirement. Okay. 
input source. Step down. Transformer. Diode. Yes, total number of diodes required for this circuit is equal to two. Then, the resistor. Or you can use resistance box. And cathode ray. Also. Or also you can use multimeter. Digital multimeter. Okay. These are the requirement for this experiment. Now see, now see circuit diagram. Into is given to primary. I will write here. We are primary. Secondary part, secondary of coil, and then see how to draw. First, I will draw diamond structure like this. I will draw two or four doubts. See. Doubt given. I would be and remaining two, I will use the different color and then I will take two wires from this junction.
is our sales and then final output will take at the end or after all this cro or we can use okay yes uh, can you view this diagram hello students hello anyone say can yes hello students see your yes, uh, right hand side diagram see which is uh, consist of uh, four diodes diode d1 d2 d3 d4 okay as a bridge okay now see here we in is connected to primary of coil we in is connected to the primary and uh, here we are using step down transformer see the winding winding of primary always more as compared to secondary and secondary for to the junction of d1 and d2 and d4 and d3 okay and junction of d1 and d4 and d3 and d2 is connected to the is connected to the um, load resistor you can use resistance block also and final output uh, is different for CRO. we can observe input as well as and this is the circuit diagram for bridge rectifier. Okay, now um, see, then I will draw waveforms for this. Okay, see. Input as, as well as output. See how to draw waveforms, input and uh, output waveforms for the circuit. Here I will write 0, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5. Okay. First, this is your rules. For V out of uh, V. Okay, see when positive cycle see this one see when positive cycle is given is at the junction of d1 and d2 and d3 and d4 at d1 and d2 dear students see when this positive cycle when this positive cycle is appeared at this point 
okay therefore so here i will uh, write point a b c d suppose this is a and here yes uh, can you tell me see when positive cycle is at point a therefore when positive cycle is at point a then then positive is connected to anode of d2 at the same time that positive is connected to the negative of d1 is it correct dear student see when this positive cycle when this positive cycle half cycle is at point a means positive to anode of d2 and positive to the negative of diode d1 means when positive voltage at the anode of d2 therefore anode d2 will be in which bias forward bias understood dear student hello student yes sir during positive cycle at point a d2 will be in forward bias at the same time this negative see when positive at point a at the same simultaneously negative cycle at point b and when negative at point b therefore d, this c d4 cathode of d4 is connected to negative therefore d4 is always in which bias forward bias reverse bias forward bias forward because c forward neg when negative at point b this negative at point b is connected to the negative of cathode of d4 cathode of d4 is connected to negative but at the same time anode of d3 is connected to the negative means d4 in is which bias forward bias and d3 is in reverse and therefore when positive cycle at point a d2 will be in forward bias at the same time d4 is also in forward bias means therefore here i will therefore current only flows to this to d2 and d4 means current will flow like this a this and again this one this is your uh which by forward bias and here you get the this like okay it flows to to this side means during positive when positive cycle at point a and negative cycle at point b you will get d2 and d4 are in which bias will be forward bias at the same time d1 and d3 is in reverse bias and thus we can write here see here i will draw then current flow to the circuit and you will get wave like this At this point, D two and D four. Okay. Again, when negative cycle, again then change the. See, when negative cycle, when negative cycle is at point A, negative cycle at at point A means what? Positive cycle will be at point B. When negative cycle at point A. this negative is given to the negative of d1 therefore when negative cycle is at point a diode d1 will be in which bias forward bias understood dear student diode d1 will be forward bias and current flows to this circuit current flows to this circuit okay when negative at point a diode d1 will be in forward bias when positive cycle at point b therefore which diode will be in forward bias d3 means only current flow when at point a negative cycle therefore current flow only to d1 and d3 see this only d1 and d3 therefore when d1 and d3 in forward bias d2 and d4 are always in which bias anyone hello students when d1 and d3 in forward bias therefore d2 and d4 is in which bias reverse reverse bias therefore for this negative cycle you will current through the circuit due to the 
फॉरवर्ड बायस ऑफ डी वन एंड डी टू अगेन फॉर दिस केस For next cycle, you will get positive half due to the D4 and D, D2 and D4. Similarly, here you will get due to the D1 and D3. Again, you will get due to the D2 and D4. Again, you will get due to the D1 and yes, D1 and what? D. Okay. This is the. and this is about the uh wave forms as input and output form of this input understood dear student up to this level hello in in case of bridge rectifier it consists only four die understood and in half wave rectifier it consists only one die okay Uh, in uh, next lecture i will take theoretical part of this uh, bridge rectifier in detail okay yes any doubt of this level yes sir thank you please write your full name and